at the height of his skill and power. Books! He's getting close to knockouts. In the last two fights, we were having got the knockout in books. But let's not act like Isaac Chalemba. If he was up big in that fight, and he went for the knockout and got it to win. Oh, yeah. I think he both had a good points there. Still a patient, precise punching. Getting the biggest fight of his career. Letting him see it's a southpaw. He was undefeated at 21 and 0. Now you see how it totals up. Jab right hand by Bevo. And that pop behind the pop. The power between the one and the field. He had that pop. He discovered that Benicio Bevo can take it up to each. Thank you, BK. Work the body, be a little bit more active, but they're satisfied with what. And the, the most successful punch that I've seen has been that jab to the gut, but the pull. He's all in the tan shots with steel in black. Jabs to round three, and we thought it was close to the first Castillo's doing quite well. He's in this fight. He's boxing well. He's him firing back. But when you're losing round after round, what does his corner start to say? I think at some point you have to decide if you're going to open it. Oh, yeah. Catch him and turn him really sharp. So, there we go. He almost landed a nice... See, I like that right hand on him. He, he can't land two shots at the and Just touch him downstairs. He's been jabbing and throwing that right hand. Either has... Unified Cruiserweight Champion taking on Chaz Witherspoon. Ah. We understand something just sprang to mind. It's like, wow, that, that used to be a very controversial thing that you had to have these next to not be ball landing to the body and landing to the body. Oh, down goes Castillo! Really changed things there. You see how quickly he can seize the opportunity. Spectacular to make a name for himself where he could just defend. Let's see what he tries. I think it's an opportunity here. Just put that out. That was gorgeous. It was a beautiful knockdown, but I don't think Castillo's that hurt right now. Like he's knocked down. People just put him down. And we thought, oh, sort of bent distance. And round by round, he's getting hit less. And it takes something out of his career to see him have to keep your hands up like that constantly. And I'm sure he's trying to block those hooks from that. Land more scoring shots. And these aren't doing big damage to Castillo. We're winning every round. We just knocked the guy down in spectacular fashion. We're good. All you want to win the real time, protect yourself at all times. Ah! Again, looked like he dropped the steel in. And yet, is it enough for the Chris Maddox's of B-ball as well? And that's why they knocked down his head. The new steel continues to come forward for him, which is what he's on the side of the Chalemba and Sullivan Barrera, Jim Pascal, these guys are some of the best fighters in the world. And you're counting just as well as Castillo is. Win this title, then he has to open up. He has no choice. Castillo. See that good shot by Castillo. Look at the hand you're out. Slip out when Bebo possibly is having a lapse. Well, that's, a, that's what the middle rounds are for. You have to take all the lapse. Bebo doesn't quite have the power. He's got the crispness. There's a back here. It is important for us on the road to come see this one. It's not easy for him. He has to stay in 10.
just one round. Drops under the right hand there in the final seconds and looks to punch the weight. Oh, with a if you're his corner, Sergio. Dimitri Bebo.